What is up guys, it is the Citrus Penny here today and I'm coming at you with a first impressions video for Quest Run. So this is a game that popped up on Steam, it's advertised as a fast paced RPG experience that uh, if you're not too big on the story aspect of RPGs, you'll be good to go, you'll enjoy this game, it's supposed to be like an experience you've never seen before. Now, I do give them credit because uh, it's very fast paced and I haven't played a game similar to this. I've played games kind of like it but it's very fast paced and it's it's pretty fun i'm going to give you a quick look at it but before we start out i'm going to say a couple things i find wrong with the game one i feel like in a way it's kind of like a flash game it doesn't have a lot of depth but in a way that doesn't really matter because it's kind of not meant to have a lot of depth it's not meant to be a game that i thought it was going to be kind of similar to rogue legacy a rogue legacy has like this big huge tree of skills but i don't think this is what this game is meant to be you can get gold from playing the game, and with that gold, you can buy different things. I'm assuming also by playing the game, you can get these blue crystals. I have yet to got one, get one yet, but, you know, you'll get them eventually, I'm, I'm guessing. The biggest gripe I have with this, as far as being a quote-unquote flash game, is why, why am I saying it's a quote-unquote flash game? Well, there is no option menu at all. One, it has to stay windowed all the time. That's not a big deal if it had to stay windowed all the time, I, but I would like the option to put it full screen. Also, since there's no option menu, when I play windowed games, I like to be able to maybe play my own music. I like to be able to minimize and like go and watch a YouTube video, listen to a podcast. Unfortunately, there's no option screen in this game. You can't change the volume settings or anything like that. So literally, whatever it is, it is. So you've got to deal with it. Uh, it's not bad, but it's just kind of like, even like to record this video, I have to turn the volume down because I can't not, the volume, I can't turn it down in game, so I just gotta turn my, basically my volume off of my computer because, or else my microphone would probably be picking up volume right now. So, what is this game all about? Well, it's kind of like a randomly generated roguelike, it says, um, roguelike experience. It's similar to roguelike because... I'm going to show you the main game mode. There are there are many different little things around here. I've beaten two of these. And then there's there's little things around here. But in general, uh, I think the main focus of the game, because I feel like after you beat all these little ones around here, that's all they are. So there's not a lot of substance there. I think the main point of it is right here. It's the main dungeon. It's called Lost Treasure. And what you do is you go in. You can hire new heroes for 10 coins. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do that just to show you. It randomizes, give it, gives you different heroes. This time I got the Bard, the Priest, and the Mage. I'm going to hire new ones. I got the Paladin, the Mage, and the Bard. Not bad, but I'm going to keep on going. This time I got the Priest, the Warrior, and the Mage. Warrior, Bard, and Priest. That seems pretty good. I might go with that, but I'm going to go back. Eh, this is, looks like this is like a pretty good setup. I've got a Sorcerer who does a lot of damage with spells. I've got a Warrior who's quite good at melee combat, and I've got a Healer. So that's pretty good. It's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and press go. Now, in the other modes, uh, not on the other modes, but on the other little areas around the map, not this one, there's not these little trophy or totems, if you want to call them that. There's not these. You basically, you get a predetermined team and you have to play it. Whereas in this, it's a randomized team and you have to pick a trophy. So you can do this, heals every fight, but less damage is um, given. So more defense, but specials take one more hit to charge more gold but items found are of lesser quality so you kind of have to decide here do you want one of these or do you want none of them it kind of adds a little bit of a thing you know depth to your combat but i'm just going to go ahead and say no to both of those now i'm starting out with some goblin fighting fighting here so i'm going to switch out you can switch the places that your people are in i'm going to put my stances on everybody has different stances and they all usually are affected by the same ones it seems but it, it also seems like uh maybe this guy's stance only affects him so that's interesting to note takes hits instead of others so this is interesting because if they take hits he's going to take all the damage for them so he's a really good tank for instance if this goblin were to hit my sorcerer it, for instance i'm going to show you right here the goblin's going to hit my sorcerer in a minute here whenever that charges up boom it actually takes damage on my warrior now by pressing a you can speed it up to three times speed that's what i recommend doing every once in a while right now i'm just kind of trying to explain to you a little bit of the mechanics of the game so i'm going to try to uh slow it down really quickly here for a little bit but i'm going to actually start speeding it back up to kind of show you what's going on so usually since it's kind of slow otherwise i recommend putting it on three times speed but it's quite fine to play even if you're on uh, the lower speed. And if you're new to the game, I definitely recommend to figure it out first before you put it on a higher speed. Now, whenever you level up, which happens quite a bit in this game, you're going to go ahead and be able to level up. 
kind of have to memorize these uh, little stats because if you don't memorize them well, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you because you've got to do this quick. It's a fast-paced game, as I've said before. You've got to do it quick. These little scrolls level up your characters. So I'm going to level up with some of my characters really quickly here before I start. And I'm going to put it on uh, speed times three again here. I'm going to switch out this guy down here because my sorcerer is kind of low health right now. And my priest is very low health, but I really can't do anything uh, to help him out here. So I don't really know what to do. I, I guess I could go to my warrior and put him on the stance where everybody takes damage. F he takes damage for everybody. Seems like the best possible solution I have to this problem right now. Although the stance came off on accident. I guess I accidentally turned the stance off. And as a result, I died. Or my, rather, my priest died. So my main source of healing is now dead, which is quite a bummer. Um, I'm gonna have to keep this little buff or this stance on where I take all the damage because if I don't do that Unfortunately, my sorcerer is gonna take quite a bit of damage. and It's not gonna be fun Now the sorcerer's best ability is definitely being able to do this awesome Thing like where he d basically just destroys everybody I'm gonna heal up and then use my sorcerer's basically ability to kill everything on the field I'm gonna level up his speed I'm gonna level up his magical defense. I have a priest back so I can heal up again and basically, since uh, this guy is taking all the damage, all, all we need to focus on is keeping this man alive. And other than that, we should be pretty good. Now, whenever you get new items, you have to put them on your characters. And this adds a whole new thing to the game. Because this is kind of crazy that, you know, you have to basically keep these guys... I'm going to switch out really quick here to my warrior down here. Because it seems like I'm just wasting time having my priest attack. Um, it adds a new level to the game because, well, you've got to be quick. If you don't, If you're not quick, then it's going to... You're going to suffer the consequences because you might uh, lose an item. You can only have four items in your inventory at once, which is kind of a problem with the game. But I feel like it's meant to be like a, a more, an added challenge. You know, you got to use the, your items quickly. I could use this, which is actually pretty interesting. I already, I'm just going to do that because I get quite a bit of potions. And that's, that's something that I kind of like. I, I like having a lot of potions. Um, there is a little bit of time sometimes between the waves. And I found that it's it's kind of hard sometimes to actually make it to the end. So that's a cool thing, you know, that it actually so it does take some uh, some degree of skill to actually get to the end of these matches, it seems like. So that's very cool. I like uh, a little bit of challenge in my gameplay. But also, at the same time, it doesn't seem to be a super challenging game. It seems to be very fast-paced in that in the effect that you've got to be able to do things very quickly. But that's not a bad thing. It's actually quite a bit of fun. And I, would I recommend it? Well, I'd recommend it kind of and why i say that i got it on sale it, it's new it's 50 percent off would i recommend buying it right now sure yes go out and buy this game right now it's worth it if if it's on sale i'd say it's definitely worth it if it's not on sale i can't say it's the best buy you'll make but i don't know i mean i haven't really played the game for that long but from what i've played so far it doesn't seem to have you know, a lot going for it. Uh, it seems like I'm gonna try. Dang it! Oh yes, I got it. Okay, thank you. I almost died there. Uh, it doesn't ha seem to have tons of stuff going for it, as far as just you know, s you know, substance, I guess. But it's not like it's a bad game. It's just it's lacking a bit of stuff here and there, and that can lead to the game not maybe being the most fulfilling thing you've ever done and the most fulfilling game you've ever played. I'm going to use the potion here, I'm going to switch out here, and hopefully I'm able to get a potion or something to help my people out, because this could really go down... Yep, I uh, I got a peril. Perils, basically, they affect your ne heroes negatively. Every once in a while, you get, you get a good one, but peril, well, that's not good for you, and unfortunately, I'm just going to do the thief one, because it won't really affect me too bad, but, um outnumbered so the enemies or heroes oh this is bad i'm outnumbered so i'm going to take a couple um i'm going to take some uh disadvantages here because i am outnumbered but hopefully i will be able to pull this one off my warrior seems to be pretty strong i don't know if it can take care of this thing it seems to be doing pretty good against them uh what i really need here is either one that uh, gives me a full inventory of potions or something that uh, i just get a drop of potions or something um, otherwise, this is going to go downhill very fast. But there we go, we got a potion. I think I'm going to revive, I'm thinking, uh, maybe I'll just use it on this guy, quite honestly. I think this might be the best idea, because reviving either of my other guys might not be the best idea right now. <clears throat> Especially when this guy's almost dead, and reviving the priest isn't going to do too much. The sorcerer is probably who I'm going to revive first. Um, there is an element of strategy in this game to who you revive first and things like that. Um, I'll, I'll be able to do this now, which is very cool because I will be able to do this. 
I'll send this guy down here just so we can take some damage because as you take damage you're able to use special abilities so he'll be able to charge up those special abilities which is good but uh, I'm gonna try to stun him really quick with my battle cry I'm gonna heal up my sorcerer because he's kinda like a glass cannon kinda guy uh, alright so your less experienced adventurer reads a manual on how to fight adventurer with the lowest level gets three levels not good I want potions right now I want this guy back alive and I want uh, this guy to heal everybody up so everybody's healed back up to pretty good health uh what is this guy increases health i'm gonna go ahead and give this guy that potion to kind of get be up here um this guy kind of needs a health potion but i could also do this and just heal up everybody that works pretty well it seems like all right so i've also thought about this about having like a saving system kind of like ftl but i feel like the game is supposed to be challenging in the fact that you have to micromanage very fast whereas in ftl it's very strategic in the fact that it, you can pause it like this and then kind of like think about what's going to happen, but you can't like pause it and then do things on screen and then unpause it and those things will happen when it's unpaused, like on FTL, Faster Than Lights. It's a really good um, space simulator game. I'm trying to heal up really quick here. Unfortunately, I did not heal in time there, and that's quite a uh, bad thing for me because now I'm going to move this guy over here, actually. I can actually do this, which is good, but now I've got the option that my sorcerer is about to die. I can heal up here though, so I'm going to put him down here. I'm going to switch my priest out for this guy, but he's almost dead. Both of my guys, all my guys are almost dead. This is bad. Um, we got an armored mantis over here, which is not good for me because... Alright, this guy healed up somehow. I don't know how he got... Oh, because he leveled up, so what I guess when you level up, you do get all your health back. kind of forgot about that, but... Alright, we'll give my bard a little bit of a better weapon, or my priest. I was thinking he was a bard there for a second, sorry. Um, can I, can I revive this guy without potion? I can. Not the best, ooh, dang it, I did it. Wow. Well, that's not exactly what I was planning for. I basically just got both of my guys killed. That's not good at all. Alright, hopefully I'll be able to do some damage here, but this armored mantis seems like it might take me down. Trying to heal up with that potion there and doing something or other. I mean, I don't really know what's going on here. This is, this might be the end of me. I'm thinking I can probably stun this guy for a little bit, do some damage to him. But uh, in general, I'm going to go with uh, some attack stats here, I think, because I need to hit more. But I'm going to heal up with a potion. Oh, come on. I even dragged a potion there. I just missed, though. All right. Actually, there's a tip. Plus and control to control sound volume. You know what? I'll take it back. Apparently you can use the sound, but it's not in the option menu. Um, although I do say, I take back the statement that you can't mess with the sound, I do still stand by the fact that you probably should be able to go to the options menu. But all in all, it's a fun game. You can do it, uh, just hop on it, play it some, and just have a little bit of fun and get back off. And you can get quite a bit of things in the shop, well not quite a bit of things, but you can get some different things in the shop, and it's an interesting game. If it's on sale, and if you grab it right now, I'd say it's definitely worth your time and checking it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and again, if you want to get this game, you can grab it on Steam. And I give it, out of 10, from what I've played so far, I'll give it a, a solid 7, from what I've played so far. I don't know how much replayability it has, but it's an interesting game, and I am enjoying it so far. So, see you guys later.